You know what? I really like my foyer. It's 2020 and it was time to do something cozy. So that is why I bought a modern day techie foyer. I'm just kidding. I didn't buy this. I mean, th there was a countdown timer and I started panicking on the website and there were like 10 people already bought this and like, you gotta buy it now. It's gonna be out of stock. And I panicked and there we go. Now I have a foyer. Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io but you already knew this and here we review Shopify apps in our brand new video formula with the new sound, with the new formats where we do a bunch of nice stuff like first we introduce the app, then we walk you through the app, then we do a speed test with the app, then... <laughs> Then we show you how to uninstall the app. Then sometimes, depending on the app, we have other experts telling us how they use the app successfully. And so there is a whole bunch of sections. Now, first and foremost, you're like, hey, Andrew, what are you reviewing this week? Well, glad you asked. We are reviewing Conversion Plus by Varynode Inc. What a beautiful name. What's in it? So this is basically another urgency, FOMO, fear of missing out app um, that adds a little countdown timer which should uh, prevent card abandonment. If you remember, uh, I forgot the name of the app, I'm going to pop it back here, but one of the famous countdown timers actually got uh, kicked out of Shopify, so this might be a very viable alternative. The app has a 4.7 out of 5 scores. Let's stop talking, Andrew, and I'll just take you to the back of the screen, walk you through the app, and so that you really have a good feel of it. Let's go! The app is installed and we are on the general settings page. Now, the first step is to enable the countdown timer. I prefer this option at the end of the settings page. This feels like adding a halfway made feature to our shop. Um, the next section is basically an ad for another app by the same developer, so we can skip that part. And now it is time to choose for how long our cart is going to be reserved. We can choose from 1 to 360 minutes. 360 minutes is kind of long and 1 minute doesn't mean anything. Uh, actually, choosing the short period of time may lower your average order value apparently. And the reason for that is when I add a product to the cart and I see that this product is reserved for five minutes or even two, I go like, oh snap, I, I really have to buy it um, because it's only reserved for two minutes. So then I just check out while in other cases I might uh, continue shopping and add more stuff to my cart. Anyway, for the seller that could translate into lost revenue, so putting your time too short can have an adverse effect. We will be careful and we will choose our 30 minutes. Next in line is the countdown text. A pre-made text is your card is reserved for time remaining minutes. Uh, this is okay, but you should go with something maybe a little bit more personal and unique, and unique for your brand. Uh, for our demo shop, we will write, we will reserve your items for the next XXX minutes. Well, it's not excess, but you get the point. When the countdown expires, we will go with card reservation expired. Buy it now. Uh, I almost forget, you can also add a, a tag and a Y tag, well, an I tag to keep it cursive, HTML tags in your countdown timer message, which can be very useful. Okay, moving to the next field. Here we need to choose if we want to clear the cart after the countdown expires. Um, this one is tough. My common sense tells me we should go with no, but if we don't clear the card after 30 minutes, our fake website will look unprofessional, I feel like. Uh, contact your favorite marketing person for this one. Don't listen to us. We are the developers. I mean, seriously, you wouldn't ask your plumber to design your bathroom, would you? Well, there you go. Uh, we are going to go with yes. And let's punish that customer who didn't make the purchase in the first 30 minutes. Our strategy will cost you a few lost sales, but you were warned. Um, okay, no, seriously, ask a, a professional marketing person about this. The last step in this general settings page is customization. At the bottom of the page, we can see a preview of the countdown widget. Customization is also limited. We can only change colors and sizes. 
For the background color, we will choose some light shade of gray and border color, some darker gray. Fun color is okay, and fun size, let's change it to 20 pixel. And that's basically it. In case you want to actually hold the items once added to the cart, then you will need to upgrade to the bronze plan. The inventory hold will only last as long as the duration of the cart reservation timer value you specified above. Uh, click on save and let's see if there is a dashboard on this app. This is a one page app, so alright, let's jump to our demo shop and see what we have done. Okay, we are on our demo shop and let's add the first product. View card and here is a countdown timer. So it works. All right, awesome. Let's go back to the collection page and add a few more products just to see if the countdown timer will go back to 30 minutes. All right, it didn't. So in conclusion, a reservation countdown timer starts after the first product was added. Abuya. All right, les moments de la vérité, which is German for it's the time of the truth as per my Google Translate. So, um, we're gonna do the speed test. So speed test, we do it now everywhere. We're gonna check on, on the back. Every app normally kind of uh, inputs a piece of code into your team, depending on which app, depending on the type. And sometimes these apps really slow down your website. You see it with some of my clients. They come like, hey, Andrew, I don't get it. I optimized all my images to be super effective, but my site is super slow. Yeah, well, guess what? You have 80 apps, 20 of which are uninstalled, but the requests are still there. So we're doing a little speed test to kind of check it out if it affects your store. And we'll also do a mobile speed test right after this. All right, for the speed test, it is time for uh, that much talked about speed test. Let's analyze the product page with GT Metrics. Okay, Ecom Expert is coming out with its own tool that's frankly much better than GT metrics based on top of GT metrics. So we just took GT metrics and build it better. So please follow us and you will have this free tool to your disposition soon. We already have the uh, results before the app was installed. We So we did the speed test before so we can easily compare it. Before the app was added, the total page size was 238 uh, kilobyte. This app added and this app added three additional requests, which not a deal, but not the end of the world. Um, so very important, let's check out how this app performs on mobile. Um, okay, we are on our demo shop. Let's add this product to the cart. The app is working good. And here you can see the countdown and it looks great on mobile as well. You know what? I think it's important to be served correctly. So that's why we talk about customer service. How fast were they to respond? Let's check it out. So the customer service is available via email. There is no live chat, but let's see how quickly they will respond to us. An email is sent and basically now we need to wait. Okay, we have waited for some time. Uh, we will, and actually we didn't get a response. We will leave the result in the comments section below if they end up answering us. We have installed, customized and tested this app. Now it's time for us to remove it from our store. So uh, after you uninstall the app from the admin, let's go to the team code. Uh, first go to the online store sales channel here. Just to be secure, first make a copy of the current live team. Click on actions here and then duplicate. And once the duplication is made, we can proceed to the code editor. Again, click on Actions, and now from the drop-down list, click on Edit Code. This app is active on the card page, so let's first check the templates on the card.liquid. Delete this line before the before the percentage sign comment percentage sign, and click on Save. Now let's scroll down to the snippet since there must be something left. And here it is. Click on vncpc.liquid and and in a new tab, just click on delete file. Save changes and you are all set. And then we will finish up with the uh, facts corner. Yes, uh, sir, I'm madam. So there is the free plan. The free plan gives you a countdown timer on the cart page, uh, allows you to customize the timer duration. 
it also allows you to customize the text, uh, the look, and the feel of the timer. Um, there is international language support and mobile support. Now, for the bronze plan, beg you pardon, um, you can just have it for a merely $6.99 a month, which is option number two right here. And it will give you all the features included in the free plan. No surprise there. Oh, stay up. But it also gives you a countdown timer on the card drawer, uh, pop-ups, inventory reservation, countdown timer, and a countdown timer on the checkout pages, which is actually quite impressive. Now, we're talking about competitors. Um, there is Vitals. There is a Sales Rocket. Ooh, uh, there is Ultimate Scarcity Pro because Ultimate was not enough, so you had to do it Ultimate Pro. There is Hurry Up, which is clever. Um, and then there is Coder's Lab Reverse Cart. Now, for the ratings, like we said, there's a 4.7 out of 5 ratings. Here is the breakdown. Ta -ta. That's based on 1,742 reviews as of this moment. Uh, there is a 1,457 five stars there is 182 four stars you know there is 48 three stars there is 15 two stars and there is 41 stars all right that is it for today people i hope you liked this video make sure to smash that like button because it makes all the difference for us it tells us that you like our new format make sure to comment and say andrew your new format is garbage or you new format is actually much better but why don't you do this or why don't you do that and i'll be like thank you for this great advice now i don't have to think about this let's see you next week for another shopify app review video thank you so much for following our channel and ciao bye.